Hi friends, today we will look at the answer for question number 28. It is from Geography, General Studies Paper 1. So the question asked, the question asked is regarding the cyclones. So I have asked to you to compare and contrast. That means we have to write some similarities and some differences between the extra tropical cyclones, means temperate cyclones and tropical cyclones. We have to compare and contrast between these two types of cyclones. So for 15 marks to 50 words. So in this kind of questions, generally in the introduction, it is better if you define what is a cyclone. And also as it is a geography question, we try to draw the diagram. We no need to explain the diagram because they did not ask you to explain the tropical cyclone. Neither they asked you to explain tropical nor uh, temperate cyclone. So they are all asked you to compare. So you just draw the diagrams and move on. Let us see how to frame the answer. So first define cyclone. You can say cyclone is a system of winds that circulate around a low pressure area. That circulate around a low pressure area that causes the wind to rise up. The wind to rise up and because of cooling clouds are formed and there is a precipitation. So cyclones are, you know, system of wind circulating around the low pressure area causing the rise of the air, rise of the wind and formation of clouds and precipitation. So that's how you can define a cyclone. However, you can say that the cyclones are based, named based on the latitude. So cyclones that are formed between 30 degrees north to 30 degrees south around the tropical area we call them as tropical cyclones and those cyclones that are formed between 30 degrees and 60 degrees either north or south are called temperate cyclones or extra tropical cyclones so based on the latitude we name them as tropical cyclones or extra tropical cyclones now as i told you draw the diagram you quickly draw a diagram no need to explain it you can draw the uh, temperate cyclone, I mean extra tropical cyclone like this. See. You can draw like this. So this is actually warm front. This is warm front. Warm front means a place where warm air rises up rapidly. This is the warm air. The warm air rises up rapidly. And this is a cold front. Actually cold front is geographically denoted as you know triangle, the sharp. Sharp like this. This is a cold front. This is cold front. This is warm front. Warm front is a place where warm may rise up rapidly. Cold front is a place where the cold wind, the cold wind comes down. The cold wind comes down. So you can say this is the diagram for a temperate cyclone. Whereas for tropical cyclone, there will be a cyclonic eye, center of the cyclone where there is no rainfall, where it is very calm. And around that eye, there is a wall. Around that eye, there is a wall. So from the wall, clouds will be forced out, you know, clouds form here, clouds. Mostly cumulonimbus clouds or nimbostratus clouds mostly form. And in the top, in the top, for this is tropopause. This is tropopause. So here actually the warm air subsides. Along the wall, the air rises up, clouds are formed and clouds are thrown out because of centrifugal force. And along the eye, there will be warm subsiding air. So this is the diagram you can draw to explain the uh, tropical cyclone. So these diagrams are must. I would generally suggest you to draw diagrams for geography questions. Now the actual question compare and contrast. So first you quickly write similarities. There are very few similarities. You can say both of them are around the low pressures and both of them circulate in the anti-clockwise direction in northern hemisphere and clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere. Southern hemisphere clockwise direction. And you can say in both in both types of cyclones, the air rises up because of which the moisture cools and clouds form because of precipitation occurs. So rainfall occurs in both types of cyclones. So these are the similarities. Now the major part of the question is differences. Most of the marks are given to you based on the number of points you write in differences. So no need to explain much, just write the point in two or three lines. For example, you can say the weather conditions are different. For example, in the tropical cyclone, in the tropical cyclone, there will be cumulonimbus clouds and heavy rainfall. So only one type of climate exists. But in the temperate cyclone, what happens is, see, temperate cyclone, 
when the warm front approaches the point there will be cirrus clouds clouds at a greater height cirrus clouds and there will be light rainfall for a long time for a larger area when the warm air approaches there is no rainfall only high humidity will be there when cold front approaches there will be cumulonimbus clouds heavy rainfall for a short period of time in a small area similarly when cold wind approaches again it will be cool and no rainfall so four different climate weather conditions occur in the uh, in temperate cyclone and only one type of weather occurs in uh, tropical cyclone there is the first difference second one types of clouds as i explained to you in tropical cyclones only one type of clouds either cumulonimbus or nimbus clouds actually cumulonimbus cumulus means cloudy i mean uh, woolly cumulus means like wool nimbus means uh, dark uh, black color dark color because of heavy water content cumulonimbus nimbus stratus means heavy water content stratus means layers so these are types of these are the types of clouds formed in the tropical cyclone whereas in temperate cyclone as i told you there will be different types of clouds under different uh, uh, font under warm font cirrus clouds under cold font cumulonimbus under warm air no clouds like this the third difference you can say is that tropical cyclones are generated over the land i mean over the sea for example tropical cyclones require the evaporation only when evaporation is uh, large enough evaporation is good enough particularly occurs when the sea temperature the surface sea temperature sea temperature is around 26 to 27 degree centigrade at that temperature as evaporation is higher you know the tropical cyclones occur but temperate cyclone can occur even on the land temperate cyclone does not require evaporation it just requires a warm font and cold font colliding with each other it can occur on the land or sea whereas the tropical cyclone that is generated in the sea once it comes to the land it will die in the land it cannot stay on the land because on the land there is no much evaporation because there is no much water content on the land there is one difference other difference is that see if you observe here where tropical cyclones occur trade winds will blow trade winds and as you know trade winds are easterly in direction they come from the east so tropical cyclone that occurs in the tropical areas are pushed towards the west are pushed in this direction towards the west whereas temperate cyclone occurs in the high latitude or middle latitude where westerly winds are there so the temperate cyclone is pushed towards the east whereas tropical cyclone is pushed towards the west that is one difference you can write then diameter as you can see the tropical cyclones diameter is actually less maximum some 500 km of course sometimes it can be 1000 km but generally 500 km is the diameter of tropical cyclone whereas temperate cyclone can be 1500 km sometimes they can go even up to 2000 km so there is another difference also level of destruction as you know very well in tropical cyclones as cyclone approaches the land there would be huge storm surges storm surges and there will be coastal flooding coastal flooding and the winds actually the speed of the wind is very high for tropical cyclone almost you can say speed of wind is 200 km per hour sometimes it can go even to 400 km per hour whereas in temperate cyclone speed of the wind is only maximum 100 kmph to 120 kmph less speed so even the destruction is lesser for temperate cyclone and more for tropical cyclone now see frontal formation is one difference because that the uh, temperate cyclone forms when for example when the polar easterlies cold winds coming from the polar areas and westerlies coming from here actually westerlies are slightly warm they have more humidity whereas polar winds have very less humidity they are very cold they are contrasting winds when they collide with each other fronts will form fronts so around this fronts the temperate cyclone will develop whereas tropical cyclone develops only because of evaporation even duration see for example the temperate cyclones will last for almost 23 to 4 weeks almost 3 to 4 weeks they will last the temperate cyclones whereas tropical cyclones generally occur for few hours or maximum one week maximum one week for tropical cyclone after that it will die once it comes out to the land it will die or even the sea also it does not last much whereas the temperate cyclones stay for 3 to 4 weeks 
even the another difference is you can observe generally the tropical cyclones occur in the late summer season that means in the month of you know september october august september october during the time the tropical cyclones occur whereas temperate cyclone does not have any season of course the frequency is more in the winter but generally there is no season for them when you look at the shape even you can write about the shape also as you can see here clearly see here the shape is inverted v inverted v for temperate cyclone tropical cyclone the shape is like an ellipse actually like an ellipse the tropical uh, cyclone there is a difference in the shape and as and generally if you see in the southern hemisphere what happens is in southern hemisphere in southern hemisphere is full of sea full of water so there is no much difference between the polar easterlies i mean polar easterlies see this is polar easterlies and westerlies there is no much difference both are coming from the sea only so the temperate cyclones are not strong whereas in the northern hemisphere the polar easterlies and the westerlies are completely contrasting so in the northern hemisphere the temper the tropical the i mean the temperate cyclones the temperate cyclones in the northern hemisphere highly pronounced they are very strong compared to the southern hemisphere but for tropical cyclones that's not the case tropical cyclones are equally strong in both hemispheres and the difference is the pressure gradient see in the tropical cyclone the pressure gradient is very high it's very steep the pressure gradient if whereas in temperate cyclone that's not the case in the, in, the, in the temperate cyclone in temperate cyclone the pressure gradient is very small in fact even the in the, the other difference is in the tropical cyclone in the eye there is calm absolute calm no rainfall at all whereas around the eye there is huge rainfall that, that's why we call eye as inactive eye in the tropical cyclone in temperate cyclone there is no inactive zone all zones are active only everywhere rainfall is there finally driving force as i told you already in tropical cyclone as the water evaporates the water will carry some energy with it the heat energy is called as latent heat of evaporation and when these winds rise up when the clouds form condensation occurs during the condensation all this heat or all the energy is released out so lot of energy comes out of condensation we call it as latent heat of condensation because of this energy the tropical cyclones are actually getting that energy because of this condensation whereas the driving force for temperate cyclones is the difference in the air mass air densities for example the polar easterlies and westerlies the density are different polar easterlies are heavy westerlies are light because of that when they collide with each other the the warm winds rise up very fast that is the driving force for the temperate cyclone so in the conclusion as i told you generally in the previous answer also in the conclusion better you write about india you can say you can say in india in india the tropical cyclones occur in this area i mean the coastal area the coastal area tropical cyclone whereas the temperate cyclone generally do not occur but the temperate cyclones occurring in the mediterranean sea are brought to india by jet streams during the winter season sometimes you see winter rainfall in the punjab haryana some parts of western up it is because of the temperate cyclones brought from the mediterranean sea to the india by the jet streams so india actually you know uh, india observes both tropical cyclones and temperate cyclones and that way you can conclude the answer the question for tomorrow my dear friends question 29 so as a part of cycle tomorrow the general studies paper 2 comes and in that i have given the question on international relations particularly i have given the question on india bangladesh because it is in the news in the last one month particularly due to wrong reasons due to wrong reasons so you study that and try to answer the question see you friends bye take care